everyone, and welcome to the 12th annual Fight to Beat Cancer, benefiting Norton Cancer Institute. My name is Erica Coghill. Thank you so much for your participation in this year's event and for kicking off this year's ride with us. Now, please stick with us throughout this video as we have a lot of important information for you. To kick things off, I'd like to introduce Dr. Joseph Flynn, Chief Administrative Officer of Norton Medical Group and Physician-in-Chief of Norton Cancer Institute. This year is different, but support is needed now more than ever. Cancer doesn't stop for a pandemic, and neither does our mission to find a cure. As a physician, I can tell you that we're facing things we've never faced before. We know that people waiting because of COVID has impacted their care now and really the care in the future. We know the literature shows that people that have been delayed are going to have more advanced disease and maybe have worse outcomes. So we need to work with you to continue to fight our fight and to find cures for cancer. I'll hand it off to Lenny Meyer, Senior Vice President and Chief Development Officer of Norton Healthcare to talk about our incredible supporters, our team of dedicated riders helping us to fight cancer. In the lead up to the 12th annual Bike to Beat Cancer, many things in our community have changed. What's not changed is your commitment to this event and the need of many of our cancer survivors and their families. In the Norton Cancer Institute, we're working hard every day. And as part of this event, in 12 years, we've raised more than $4 million that has gone directly to support programs and services across our region. From innovation and equipment and technology to research, your dollars have made a difference. And certainly we could not do that without the support of our committee, our many champion riders, our survivors and their families and friends who come year over year to make a difference and to raise a flag in the fight against cancer. This work certainly cannot be done without our sponsors. And I'd like to personally thank our Powered By sponsor, Bryant Heating and Cooling. The sponsorship that we secure this event directly supports our expenses so that every dollar raised by our riders comes back to the program and supports innovation and care. Thank you for your support. Now among our group of riders participating on Saturday are many cancer survivors. Their presence is an expression of strength that we can all connect with and celebrate. Now unfortunately, there are times when determination, courage, effort, and expertise do not overcome cancer. And we'd like to remember those individuals who are not able to be here with us this weekend. While they're not here and beside us, they are spiritually present in our hearts and their impact on our lives cannot and will not be forgotten. Now, we would like for everyone to gather, to join with us, to say a prayer for all of those riding this weekend. Dear Spirit of God, you breathe your light over all the darkness of this world. Even while some battles with the darkness of cancer are lost on this side of earth, those who fought are still present in our spirits and in the heavenly places, cheering us onward today. May your spirit blow fresh air into our bodies, our minds, and our hearts as we ride in or support the bite to beat cancer in the hope that one day on this side of earth there will be a cure for cancer. Fill us, God, with this breath of hope and healing, even as this year we ride different routes and at different times, yet in you, we ride together, one heart, one mind, one spirit, and one resolve. And in your strength, we ride to beat cancer. Amen. Again, we want to thank you for participating. We want you to know that the health of our riders is of utmost importance to us. That is why we are taking extra precautions to ensure your health and safety for this year's ride. I'm here to share a few reminders as we gear up for this weekend's ride. Now, drive through rider packet pickup will take place Friday, September 11th from 4 to 7.30 p.m. and on Saturday from 7 to 10 a.m. 
This year, instead of kicking off together, we're asking participants to ride with us in spirit from your neighborhoods, parks, gems, and homes. We provided you with an official Bike to Be Cancer t-shirt, and we hope that you'll wear this shirt or your Bike to Be Cancer jersey as you ride to show your support for all of the patients, families, and caregivers at Norton Cancer Institute. Now on Saturday, we'll also be offering four fully marked routes for our riders to choose from in Southern Indiana, Cherokee Park, Beckley Creek Park, and East Louisville. Now don't forget to check out our designated fuel stops along the routes for snacks, hydration, and some surprise giveaways throughout the day. We ask that all riders participate in social distancing at those fuel stations along our designated routes. Now the Mile of Silence is located in the parklands and if you choose to ride the Beckley Creek Park route, take a second to remember why so many of us are riding today for this cause in our community. Now, don't forget to turn on your Race Joy app to allow us and those cheering you on to track you. For more details on our designated routes, safety tips, and more, visit biketobeatcancer.org. Thanks again for riding with us. Enjoy your ride and be safe.